in this clip we give uh, more example on on the big O notation so we let's begin with a, a quick recap on the definition of the big O okay so we say that Fn is in the order of Gn is O of Gn if and only if we have two we have the exist two uh, positive uh, numbers n0 and c such that okay, f fn is at most c times gn if n is at least n0 okay so this means uh, pictorially if you draw a graph is that we only consider the point when n is larger than n0 and suppose this is d and this is f okay and if you multiply g by some so this is c times gn this is gn this is fn so c is remains above the fn after this n0 okay so this is the definition of uh, when we say f is O of G N. Alright. So now let's let's uh, have let's look at one more more example on that. So let let suppose that we have a sample. So let's say uh, F N. We know that F N is O of G N, and we also know that G N is O of H N. Okay, show that that if we know this, then F N is also O of H N. Okay, so this is the transitive uh, property, right? So if Fn is O of Gn and Gn is O of Hn, then Fn is uh, O of Hn as well. So solution. Uh, to do that, so we, we basically we need to show this uh, that there exists uh, two positive constants uh, n0 and c that satisfy the previous definition. So, so from the definition, okay. From the assumption, what do we know? We know that the x is say c1 and 1 such that uh, fn is less than c1 dn if n is at least n1. Also, we know that the x is c2 n n2 such that dn is at least c2 hn if n is at least n2 okay and then c1 and 1 c2 and 2 are, are posit positive numbers okay so now what we want we want to say that if n okay i've go i'll go Right, I want to show that Fn is less than something, something times Hn, right, if N is larger than something. So we know that this is true if N is larger than N1, and this is true if N is larger than N2. And if we use the fact that both of them are positive numbers, then if N1 plus N2, if N is larger than the sum, or maybe you can even use the max, and one and two then then that's fine both of these and then you know that if fn is less than c1 gn and gn is this so you know this all right and these two constants this is the first constant and this is the second one that's the one that we need right so so we know that there's uh, some constant c here and some constant in zero such that 
uh, if n times c is less than h n if n is larger than n zero. So that's what we want to prove, right? Okay. So let's look at another example. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. So this is uh, the example from from one of the exercise. So let's say. Uh, Exercise say for any, any real number, real constant A and B are is larger than the larger than last year at least. Uh, larger than zero. This larger than zero. Okay. I ask you to show that uh, a plus b. Oh, sorry. N plus a to the b is alpha. Uh, show that. So for the n to the b, or n theta to the b. So in let, let I I think I'll, I'll only show that it's O of n to the b. The theta as you can roughly do the same thing, okay. And I also um, okay for a real constant, okay. Right. How can we show that? How can we show that? So now we need to show uh, uh, that there are some constants uh, according to the definition. Now, if you look carefully, so we have n plus a to the b here, and then we want to show that it's less than n to the b. So the problematic thing is a, right? So if a is less than less than zero, if a is negative, then it looks fine. But if a is, is some some ne some positive number, then then it might be bad, right? So so I'm not gonna show exactly this, okay? I'm I'm gonna show with this the harder part, okay? A larger than is at least zero. So what do we have? So to get to this, uh, we need to somehow remove a uh, from the equations. And when when if you think about it, a, a is large. If a is, a is large, then uh, you have this contribution of a to be really big, right? But w when if n n start growing to be you know really large, a will be not not that important anymore. So this this might give a hint that if n is large say larger than maybe is at least a right then uh, this might not be a might not contribute too much so so let's let's do, do that okay so let me okay so from that let's let's do this so let's make an assumption okay and and try to stick with it for now and see if it works so we assume if if n is at least as large as a so if n is at least as large as a so this is an a is and an a is a positive uh, number so this is at least at, at most uh, you know n plus n right because n is as large as a to b and this is 2n to the b and that's uh, two to the b times to the b. All right. With this, uh, you can see if if b is also a constant, then we have then then we have the the solution. So if n is large, then then, then this. So we we know that. So if we have a constant c such that uh, if n is larger than a, this will be n zero. Okay. This is C, oh, C. then uh, then uh, we have the 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 
the we can we show that this is O of n to the b. Okay. So for for the other the other cases when a is small, you can you can just ignore the a right. When a is less than zero, then uh, yeah you can use a few more lines and you get the same con conclusion here. So that's that's two examples, and and I hope that this should give you some idea on how to uh, to say that uh, one function is, is a, a big O of is O is offer the order the order of some other function. Okay. So thank you.